Hello there. So a quick roundup from the allotment. Um, there's our potato plants doing very well. We've added some more soil around the bottom because um, if you don't add more soil around the bottom, then you'll get green potatoes because the sun is too strong, the UV. And if you eat too many green potatoes, you'll get diarrhea. But it's okay if you eat, you know, a couple. Here are the red onions. And if you remember, in an earlier video, I planted these ones, these first three lines, one, two, three, two weeks before these ones. And that's because my wife has a moon calendar and there's gravitational effects that go on which draw water into the soil or away from the soil upwards and they've actually caught up with those that I planted two weeks before and there's proof that I planted these two weeks before on another video so I would check out moon moon cycles and its effects on growing plants and vegetables it holds some weight garlics are doing really well which I planted last autumn they were the first to pop through the soil in the spring. I'll do a video on how to plant those in the autumn. Here are the peas, doing very well indeed. And then we have the disaster, the soybeans. They didn't come through. And what can you do? Uh, we've been reading that other people have had problems with beans. So if you have, let us know and uh, then we'll go to where we're growing the tomatoes and our aubergine plants and these were pre-grown at home so go back to those earlier videos if you want to watch how we pre-grew our tomatoes and our aubergines so the tomatoes are about three or four weeks behind and I think it could be to do with the fact that we had a very cold April and that affected our apartment inside temperature as well. So we're really hoping that in August we'll still get a good yield of tomatoes. But now they've recovered and they look pretty good. And here are our beautiful, beautiful aubergine plants. Look at those lovely flowers that they get. And those lovely leaves. And guess what? They're producing aubergines. There they are. These are mini aubergines, by the way. And the one in the corner is as well. <sighs> Through there. And they're going to be ready soon to pick off. So we're very happy with how they've turned out. And again, if you want to see how we pre-grew them, go back to a few earlier videos that I made in the spring. Here are our lovely artichokes. We pre-grew those at home. And again, go back to those earlier videos if you want to watch how we pre-grew them and climatized them. And these are tobacco plants. This is an experiment and we pre-grew these too. And I can't actually remember what these were. These are, these are beans, and these are actually okay. These made it, but those ones in the other bed didn't. So, anyway, we're happy that our first attempt at growing aubergines has been successful. Fingers crossed for our tomatoes. We'll get some in August, hopefully, towards the middle of August, end of August. And all that I have left to say is have a wonderful rest of the summer. Hope you've been having a lovely time with your family and friends. And hey, Wimbledon, come on Norrie. Do it for Britain. Win the tennis final. Okay, see ya. Take care. Bye.